pouring of stacking gel. At most care should be given while pouring the stacking gel. The gel is poured till the top of the plate. The excess gel is placed in a beaker for checking the polymerization. Comb is gently inserted into the stacking gel. Care should be given while inserting the comb. The overspilled gel should be removed immediately. The number of wells varies depending upon the need. Sample denaturation is done by mixing the sample with 1% sodium dodecyl sulfate, 10% glycerol, 10 millimolar tris HCl at pH 6.8. 1 millimolar EDTA and little amount of beta mercaptoethanol and a pinch of bromophenol. The sample is denatured by keeping the mixture in a boiling water for 5 minutes. It helps to break the disulfide bonds in a protein. After ensuring the polymerization of stacking gel, the comb should be removed gently. At most care should be given while removing the comb. After removing the comb, the setup is gently placed inside the unit. Contents of tank buffer Tris 0.025 molar Glycine 0.192 molar Sodium dodecyl sulfate 0.1% Double distilled water The tank buffer should be poured gently Loading of sample Bromophenol acts as a tracking dye. Polyacrylamide has a limited capacity for proteins. Overloading results in precipitation and aggregation of proteins producing streaks and smears. The loading dye consists of beta mercaptoethanol which denatures and linearizes the protein and sodium dodecyl sulfate which binds to the protein and gives uniform negative charge. The voltage for running the gel is set at 60 volts and 100 milliamperes. Gels are usually run at a voltage that will run the tracking die to the bottom as quickly as possible without overheating the gels. The gels are usually allowed to run for 12 hours. When the dye front is nearly at the bottom of the gel, it is time to stop the run. After ensuring the running of the gel, the power is turned off and the power cords are removed. The gel plates 
are taken out and the spacers are removed. The gel plates have to be handled carefully since the gel is highly fragile. Without much stress on the gel, the gel plates are separated. For convenient handling of the gel, the stacking gel is removed and a marking is made on the right edge of the gel. The gel is subjected to staining. A commonly used stain for detecting proteins in polyacrylamide gel is 0.1% coma C brilliant blue dye in 50% methanol and 10% glacial acetic acid. Acidified methanol precipitate proteins. Staining is usually done overnight with agitation. The agitation circulates the dye facilitating penetration and helps ensure uniformity of staining. The dye actually penetrates the entire gel. However, it only sticks permanently to the proteins. Excess dye is washed out by de-staining with acetic acid and methanol. It is most efficient to de-stain with 50% methanol and 10% acetic acid with constant agitation. The original dye front consisting of bromophenol blue dye disappear during this process. Properly stained, de-stained gel should display a pattern of blue protein bands against a clear background. The gel can be dried down or photographed for later analysis and documentation. Thank you.